Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a first look at a game called Tales of Glory. Now Tales of Glory has been out for a little while but it has gotten a massive update. So for fans of games like Blade and Sorcery but moreover Mount and Blade, get ready to rejoice because this is the game you have been looking for. So let's dive right in and see why this game is super amazing. After you've started your very first campaign, yeah, there's going to be some cringy dialogue and some awkward cutscenes, but that's part of the charm of this game. But what you're going to notice is this actual overworld here. See, I'm in VR and this little guy moving around, that's my character, right? But you're only going to see him on this overworld. So this is where the mount and blade type of overworld comes in. You know, I can visit this place if I want to. It's a siege tower. So I could siege this if I want, try to lay siege, send a spy. And by sending someone like a spy, I can find out more information. So let's go ahead and send a spy. Excellent. My spy has been discovered by the garrison and his head has been put on a pike. So we're gonna close that. Now I am rocking this little like cart. I'm using my other triggers, by the way, to zoom in and out. I'm holding the bottom triggers and I'm literally almost like doing like a pelvic thrust with my body to zoom in and out. So let's zoom back in here. Ah, uh, this is my guy. I have about me and 20 dudes and they have some math number. Now the green guys already hate me because I've been doing some terrible crimes to the green guys. <laughs> but let's see what combat looks like in this game. I don't want to dilly-dally. Let's jump right in. So I'm going to go ahead and move myself forward because they're going to try to rob my cart. But, you know, here we go. Now, here we are on the actual battlefield itself. This is the armor I bought from the blacksmith who I'll show you where all that stuff is in a little bit. But you can kind of poke on this to switch between your armor types. That's what I started out with. Obviously, no armor. So, boom. Let's go to this cool guy here. I bought myself some weapons. So I have this cool little short sword right here oh yeah and I'm gonna sheet this on my right side and then I have a much larger boy sword here this long sword now the quality is rusty but it's a it's a two-handed long sword it's really fun to fight with uh, you get different skills uh, well not skills you get better attributes with these weapons so my guy is currently kind of bad you know I'm bad with a two-handed long sword but just because your character is bad with the long sword or any other type of weapon doesn't mean you personally have to be bad. So let's sheath that there. And let's take this little axe here because we could throw that. I'm going to actually grab this little war horn here because I just like having that. Blow the horn of Gondor. Gondor calls for aid. Now this is the ultimate weapon as my guys go to do something and not, not, not come with me. Guys, the, the battle's over here. Hello? Battle? Ah, war horn. So, I'm going to unsheath my short sword because my guy's pretty good with one-handed weapons. And, you know, we're just going to go straight to battle. And this is where, you know, Mountain Blade style and Blade of Sorcery comes in. You know, there's guys all over the battlefield. And then it's just you and hopefully some of your men that aren't helping me. Get that spear out of my face, dude. Don't stand up. Okay, let's take his, his pike. Oh, it's a horse guy duck. <laughs> See, the battle is completely up to you. You can pick up the weapon from your fallen enemies and use them against them. Get, get Rex! Seal block. So I also like to take the two-handed sword. Oh, Jesus! Two-handed swords and use it as a one-handed sword. Don't get up. Now, there's an archer over there. He can be pretty devastating. Wow, it looks like my guys are actually wrecking face. Yeah! Go get him! Let me help out. Another one down. Now let's let's rush this archer guy. So maybe I can tell my guys to go rush him. Stay, stay back. <laughs> this dude's like wounded. Oh no, he caught one in the forehead. You're going the wrong way. This guy knows what's up. Oh yeah, come get some. Come on. Now there's a gore system in this game. If you you know swing hard enough, you should be able to decap someone. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna try to decap. Can I get him. Oh, oh, maybe him. He's got much less armor. Get him, guys. Get him. Well, I broke some of his armor off, but I don't think I'm going to get a decap. My guy's not. Oh, there it is. This here is your end screen. It tells you kind of what happened, um, who you killed, how you killed them, what you can do. Obviously, you're going to want to loot the dead body, so let's go ahead and loot these dead bodies. So I went here, sold the gold. Let's visit this place. Let's go to the blacksmith. Okay, he's got a crossbow. 
That requires an archery skill of six. Do you have any bows for sale? Nope. Okay. You can see that you can come here and buy some, certain things, but it'll tell you if you already own it, or more importantly, how terrible it is. If it's in red text, that's obviously bad. Red text means like your you're guy's too stupid or too weak to use something. So this guy does not have what I'm looking for. I'm not selling for a crossbow because one of my guys not good enough. Back into the world. Now I want to bring some pain to the green army for ambushing me. So let's go ahead and go to one of their green army lands and let's just, you know, mess up a village or something. Let's recruit some more villagers. Perfect. Ah, here we go. Nice green place. Let's uh, recruit some more villagers. Thank you for joining me. Now I'm going to need you to kill your friends. And kill me. Let's attack now. To battle. All right, you guys lead the charge and, uh, yeah, let's make it to their village and slaughter all their villagers. Make them pay, you know? What I like about it is that most of the battlefields are different. Yeah, some maps will be recycled. Depends on the area that you're in. But just like Mountain Blade is when you go into a village, there's, you know, custom village assets and custom villagers and all that stuff. And they'll change. If you're in a castle siege, it'll feel totally different. So there's just so much replay value in the game. After you've even done a, a whole campaign yourself, you can always do a new campaign or you can do custom battles. It's, it's really fun. Hey, spear throw. Oh, damn it. Oh, damn. I'm sorry. Oh. Maybe I can get his bow and arrow. Can I have this? Give me that. Give me this. Hey. Fine. Hello, my villager friends. <laughs> I keep bringing my guys to like the worst battle. Hey, hey, Rick. No. Move. Combo. Combo. Shield bash. Where are some of their villagers? The villagers have to pay. Oh. Move. I see your villagers. Hello, girl. Get wrecked. You didn't save any of your villagers. What kind of knights are you? Does this make me the bad guy? Oh, you're not gonna escape. Oh my gosh, winded. Hang on. Hold on. Whew. Oh. Yeah, it's crazy on, on these battlefields. You'll definitely break a sweat. But it seems like, you know, they're slowly losing their forces. Two hand mode. And I gotta make sure I don't let myself get surrounded. Getting surrounded is how you lose. Go for the legs. Give me a friend. You're the Black Knight. Oh. So much for the Black Knight. Is that it? Is that no one else is the village mine? Well, 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 what do we want to do? Do I want to capture this? To put it in my army or do I want to burn it to the ground hmm let's see here obviously we're gonna to want to uh, burn this to the ground. all right I'm gonna take my 14 troops and see what we can do against this giant town here now I haven't fought a giant town yet and I definitely should be bringing more men than this to my giant town but let's wait for daybreak oh we can visit them first talk to the king now nah, we're not gonna to talk to a king we're just gonna siege him. We are doing our first fortress siege. You are my selected villagers. Together, where are you going? I'm in the middle of a speech. Attack! Hey, which one of you morons is gonna use the siege thing? Just like Mountain Blade where, <laughs> where the NPCs are too stupid to use the ladders. Green team, we are in your fort. Oh, they're falling back. They're setting up a trap for us. Oh, that guy's using a catapult. Use the catapult better, dude. Man, I... <laughs> Come on. Okay, I guess they're just gonna chill there as I do all the work, as per usual. Thank you for volunteering for giving me a shield that I needed for this battle. Yeah. What are you doing? You don't taunt me. That's what you get for taunting. Hey. No head for you. Hey, friend. Oh my God, what a terrible player. <laughs> This guy's like, get out of the way, dude! What are you doing in the courtyard? Don't you know we're being assaulted? Ugh. Yeah, if they said about one at a time, this is actually going to go over pretty well. All right, let's take care of this stupid archer first, and then I'm going to go decap him. Shield dash. Yeah. Mr. Catapult, you should be paying better attention. I'm not your friend. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, no. So I guess if you chop these, it shoots the catapult. That's pretty cool. Didn't know that. Oh, what are you doing out here, Mr. Prince? 
Hey, they sent their prince out here. Oh, and the princess. Okay, so first things first. Oh, you're not saving him. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, gross. Oh, wherever you're running is a bad idea, girl. Yeah. That was a great idea. Just stand there and scream. Yeah. You failed your princess. And your prince. Yeah. The town fool. Ah, he tried to fight me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! It takes two of you to operate that? Is that the other princess? Hey, other princess. Hey! Yeah. And then there was you. You're gonna throw something at me? Oh. oh! Oh, that hit me right in the leg. How many more princesses do they have? He's like, princess, I'll save you. Are you gonna save her? Come on, save her. Oof. Hey! Oh, man. Oh. You were supposed to be her knight. To defend her. What are you? Get back, dude. I'm making fun of this knight over here. Yeah. Oh, right. Ah. <laughs> oh. Ah. 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 I ain't taking any more of these guys' crap. You know, it would have been helpful if some of my... Man came to help me fight. I just gotta knock at an arrow in the face. And I'm pretty sure. God! Ah, counter! No. Come on! Yes, girl. Ah! I'm the bad guy now. Yeah? Not tough if you don't have a leg. Your numbers are dwindling. I can feel it. What is that? A flaming arrow? That was a good shot, dude. That's what I thought. Prepare for death and your suffering. Did we win? Hey, at least my men are like shooting catapults. That's something. Oh, princess. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Wait, she's alive? Come here, princess. Ugh. Ugh. Oh. She's not alive now. <laughs> Man, role-playing as a bad guy is, is too fun. Too fun. This is how I play Mountain Blade, by the way. And the fact that now I get to do it, it's not going to go well for the NPCs. Oh, I'm by your church now. Hopefully I don't find the torch and burn it down. Are you! Are you the warrior? Where's the king? Hey, dumbass. I said, dumbass, where's the king? I don't need this shield. Yes. Oh, you tripped? Stab. Come to me. He has to be dead. Yes. Now you're definitely dead. Is there no one else? I am supreme. I'm going to burn this place to the ground though. What is this? They have an insane guy axe here. How did I not see this last time? What does this mean? <laughs> I just found like a blessed axe. Too bad I think I've slaughtered the whole village before I found this. And look at that, I slaughtered their whole base. Let's go ahead and uh, capture. Oh, now it's ours. Did all of my troops die somehow? Yeah. Uh-oh. Well, everyone, thank you so much for watching. This has been a first look of the game, Tales of Glory. Like I said before, if you like Mountain Blade and Hellsplit Arena, you are going to freaking love this game. I'm having so much fun. I had so much fun just making this video and continuing to play it. So that's the main campaign I showed you. There's also offline quick battles that you can do in custom battles and even an arena. So the endless replay value is here. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching, stopping by, liking, doing all that YouTube stuff. Remember, join our Discord if you wanna become a Discord member. And of course, the Patreon is live. I put that in the description. I appreciate anything that comes my way. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Rob from Downloadable Content, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.